What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and as you guys saw from the title we got another product video for you guys today. I have the new movers that I've been using now for a few months. From both lighting, we have the MH150s. These are in white. That's a 150 watt spot LED mover. And we have the wash movers. This is a 19 by 15 watt RGBW wash mover that has zoom capabilities as well. Let's get on into the video. For the last few months of the year, I've actually been using mostly the MH150s out at my events lately. If you follow me on Instagram at DJRickWeb, you've already seen me using these in action. And I recently got a chance to also take the wash movers out and give them a run for the money at the events. And I just gotta say straight up, these things are amazing. So let's go ahead and dive on into these lights. I have been using them at events, like I said, and those gig logs are gonna be coming out after this video actually using these at the events, but I'm gonna insert a lot of the footage that I have from these upcoming gig logs in this video as well to show what these movers have been able to do at the venues that I've been using them, which is pretty impressive. So let's go ahead and let's start with the MH150 over here, the spot LED mover, and let's talk about the specs of this thing. So this right here is the MH150 spot from both lighting. Like I mentioned, it's a 150 watt LED source. Good to see, so it's gonna last you a long time. You don't have to worry about the bulb necessarily. And this thing, is really a beast. It might not look like it is a big mover. This is a 30 pound mover. This thing actually has a good amount of weight to it and it comes in white and black. I went ahead and got the white ones just because we normally use the white scrims on the totem. So I said, why not get some white movers and see what they're all about. But this thing is a beast when it comes to the overall functionality of it and everything related to this light. So I went ahead and turned the mover on and the first thing you're gonna be greeted with is this beautiful color screen display on the front that is really easy to navigate and do everything that you need to do with this mover. I always DMX all of my moving lights. I never use them on sound active. That's just my personal take on it, but you can use sound active mode on this mover as well. It also has full DMX capabilities so you can control every aspect of the movers and we actually quickly and easily integrated these directly into our sound switch programs that all of our guys use. If you want more info on sound switch, we are making some videos and some programs that you guys are gonna be able to access around sound switch in the coming future. So if you're interested in that, leave a comment down below. Um, but I have switched over completely to sound switch. I no longer use show express and all the guys under fusion sound lighting also use sound switch. And we have it set up that pretty much anyone that joins our team can easily access all the same programs and use all the same fixtures. It's super seamless and easy. Highly recommend. But we have the color display on the front. This is in a 16 channel mode right now. And basically you can control every aspect of the mover. On the sides, we have two pretty nice handles to be able to move this mover around. We also have on the back, we have PowerCon in and out, and of course our DMX in and out as well. On the bottom, you'll find the dual brackets for mounting this thing. And those brackets do come with the mover as well. And if you guys have never seen, these are like standard brackets that you'll find on most of your moving fixtures or your moving heads. Um, there are two per mover. So this is a pretty big light. The original spots that I normally use, the ADJ InnoSpot Pros only require one of these because literally it weighs like half as much as this. It also has about half the output. This thing is a definite big upgrade from the ADJ InnoSpot Pros. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on run mode so you guys can see a little bit up close and personal of how this thing works. And I'm gonna talk through all the internal specs of what this thing can do in terms of gobos, prisms, and all that. So in terms of specs on this mover right here, it has pretty much all the basic standard features that you're gonna want in an LED spot mover. You got a seven color wheel, you have an eight gobo wheel, and you have a three-faceted prism, as well as you got focus control, of course, to focus in those gobos as well, all built into the unit. And being honest, as a mobile DJ, as a mobile entertainer, a mobile lighting person, I've never really seen the need for some of the crazy features that you can find in some of the newer moving fixtures, like, um, yes, a five faceted or a seven faceted prism or dual prisms would be cool, but a lot of the stuff and these features that you see in these movers is stuff that you will probably never utilize 
as a mobile DJ. Now, if you're doing a festival concert rig, you probably are gonna use those, but you're also gonna have a giant DMX controller using MA probably and really utilizing every aspect of the lighting control that you can do. So in short, what I'm trying to say is, in terms of an LED spot, it has all the basic necessities that you're gonna need to wow your guests at your events. But that's enough of me blabbing about the specs. Let's go to some actual footage of these being used at events so you guys can see how bright and amazing these spots are. As you can tell from the clips, these spots are almost too bright. I actually, honestly, the first gig I used them at, I literally said these things are too bright. And I've been since running them about at 50 to 75% brightness in some of the venues that I'm at. In a lot of scenarios, they actually are too bright. But that's one of the awesome parts is that they're so bright that they cut right through anything that's going on. You can practically use them in daylight environments inside of venues which is pretty dope. So, as far as my personal review on these things, they're awesome. They got all the necessity features that you want. They're extremely bright. My only negative is probably that they're heavy. They're 30 pounds a piece. But, speaking of that, let's go ahead and look at the two unit road cases that you can buy these in and the configurations that you can buy them in as well. We're gonna get to the wash movers here in a second, but I wanted to show the road case first and also I guess you can look at the road case for the wash movers as well. The road case for both of these spots was super surprising to me because it is the smallest road case possible for these lights which I personally love. It's super small and takes up little to no space um, and yeah look at this thing. I mean there's a chair for reference. This thing is extremely small and compact which I love. And for all you guys want to know the exact specs it does come with casters as well. It's a complete rolling road case but it is a little over 25 inches tall and it is 22 and a half inches wide and or long I guess and then about 14 inches in width so again extremely small road case especially if you look at this road case side by side with the road case i use for the adj InnoSpot pros that case holds two adj InnoSpot pros that case holds two of the 150 movers incredible difference in size and i love the small form factor because it's going to take up less room in the garage and less room in the trailer and less room in the vehicles that the guys are taking to their events and now we move on to the wash mover and i'm gonna be honest this one might be my my favorite for one reason and one reason only it's a wash mover instead of a spot mover and if you guys go watch my whole lighting playlist it explains a lot of the aspects around lighting that you need to consider spot movers are great and look fantastic when you use haze or atmosphere when you're not using haze or atmosphere at your events the spots really are like 25% of what they are when you're not using haze. I will preference that the spot mover videos that you were watching, one of those venues did have haze and the other ones did not, and it's pretty clear, and I'll show some clips right now, it's pretty clear that those spot movers had haze because they just look so fantastic. You can clearly see the beams, it's amazing. Versus the other ones, you can't really see the beams as well. You can kind of make them out, but it's not nearly as dramatic. And that kind of is where I feel the wash movers are a underutilized lighting fixture in the DJ industry. And I think these are probably what my guys are gonna start using more and more of because they create a better effect when we're not using atmosphere. I do need a preference when we're not using atmosphere. Let's talk about that for a second. If you look at my lighting playlist, we really want to use lighting to captivate the dance floor and create these non deer in a headlight moments. So with a wash mover, you're getting that movement light that you like with intelligent lighting where the lights are moving around. But because you don't have atmosphere, it's only like a pinpoint second that kind of swoops around and you're not getting the kind of visual effect. With these, it's a wash movement around the room so it's very clear and it's very evident of where the light is going and it creates a better visual effect when we're not using atmosphere. And you can utilize these wash movers 
and not have to use wash lighting on the dance floor. So it's a great combination of not having to use like the dots bars or the wash bars that a lot of DJs use. You can use these and you get the effect of an intelligent mover or a spot mover and you get that wash factor that you're looking for to really wash and create an awesome looking colors on the dance floor. So that is my little preference on why I really love wash movers and I'm kind of kicking myself that I haven't bought a pair sooner, but I was kind of just waiting for the right opportunity with the wash movers because we own so many of the spot ones. This is the wash mover from both lighting. It's called the Aurora, I believe. It's a 19 diode, 15 watt each, moving head wash light. So each one of these diodes is 15 watts and there's 19 of them. They are RGBW, so they have a true white in there as well as red, green, and blue to make all of your color mixing. And on top of that, this head does have zoom capabilities. So you can go from a wide wash to almost a tight beam if you are using atmosphere. I will preference again, if you're using atmosphere, these lights can do some awesome stuff as well because they can zoom down to a really tight knit beam as well. Housing wise and everything, it's very similar to the spot movers that we just looked at. You have a full color display on the front, DMX capabilities, sound active capabilities as well. Awesome handles on the sides. This light only comes in black as of right now. Hopefully they'll be making a white version eventually, but right now it comes in black. And on the back side, we have PowerCon in and out and DMX in and out as well. One caveat, this light happens to have an on and off switch as well. The spot mover does not have an on and off switch, but the wash mover does have an on and off switch. And of course, the biggest difference that we've already talked about is the head itself. Now let's talk about some of the other features of this light while I turn it in auto mode so you can see the thing kind of spiral up and move around. So I already mentioned that it is a red, green, blue, and white fixture. It is 15 watts per diode. It is incredibly bright if you can't tell from just that right there. We'll show some clips here in a second of it actually out at events. Uh, this light though, in terms of the zoom that we can do with this light, it can go all the way from a 60 degree wash all the way down to a 10 degree beam. Now, for reference, the spotlight that we just looked at has a 15 degree beam angle. This thing can actually get down to a tighter beam angle than the spots. So like I said, this light is the best of both worlds in terms of being able to use it as a beam or use it as a wash light, which again comes down to a really cool feature that you can use this light as a more versatile light than your spotlight. The only thing is you don't have gobos and you don't have prisms with this light. But I personally think that over the next few months as I use this light more and more, I'm gonna like it more and more than our spotlights. So stay tuned for a more in-depth update on that. But right now, this is the more promising of the two lights in my opinion. Also wanna mention weight-wise, this light only weighs a little under 20 pounds per light, which is lighter than the spot movers as well. So that is a quick little wrap up. Let's show some B-roll footage of this being used out at the event. And this event, we were both using the spot and the wash movers. So the wash movers are on the front two totems at the beginning of the stage. The spots are on the back side of the stage. So look for the wash kind of coming around and crossing over the guests on the dance floor as well. So if you can't tell from the clips, in short, this light is incredibly bright. The spotlight is incredibly bright. These lights are incredibly bright and have amazing, awesome features that come with them. And again, wanted to show you guys the road case. It's actually the same dimensions on the width and the length as the spot mover case. You can actually stack these on top of each other. That's what we've been doing lately because these are the only two we have so far. But it is a little bit shorter, so let me show you. You're looking at 22 inches in height versus the 25 and a half on the spot. So a little bit shorter and overall it's actually lighter as well because the lights are 10 pounds less per light. So you're looking at roughly around a 50 pound case here and you're looking at more like a 70 pound road case with the spots. And that right there concludes the video. I didn't go into too much detail or too much depth in terms of the features or programming or any of that. So if you guys have any questions in relation to these two movers, more things you wanna see in terms of what they can do, 
be sure to leave it down in the comment section down below. But the manuals that come with these things are very thorough and they do cover pretty much everything you need to know in terms of these lights, especially on the DMX channel setups as well. I will give a little plug, this light right here, the MH150 spots, I know my man Joe Bunn has been using these for quite a while now and uh, he loves the things. Um, and I've been using them, I've used them at four events now, I love them as well. I've used the wash movers now at one event and I am extremely excited to use these more often. I'm probably gonna be using these at most of my weddings moving forward if I can't use Haze and see what I really think of them and put them through their paces. But as of right now, the first time using them and just in general, the capabilities that I get now with this light being a wash light, just adds a lot of things that I can do with them that I couldn't do with the spot mover. Now, of course, if I'm saying this out loud, the next iteration or the next thing I need to go to is a hybrid mover. And um, those things are very, very expensive. But a hybrid mover where you can do wash, beam, and spot all in one would be the ultimate light. But like I said, those ones are very expensive. So you guys are probably wondering how much these cost. And I'll get to that in a second because I have to add a disclaimer to be transparent with you guys. I myself, my company Fusion Sound Lighting, we are the only US-based dealer for both lighting in America. We are a dealer. Basically what that means is when you purchase through us, you are getting buyer's protection and customer support here in the United States. So if you have any issues with your lights whatsoever or say you're unsatisfied with your lights, we will work directly with you to resolve the problem. We 100% guarantee that you're gonna have the best customer service and we'll do everything in our power to make it right. Whether that's repairing your lights, repairing your movers, or exchanging yours, we'll basically, you can return the lights directly to us and we'll refund you and get you the appropriate lights that best fit your form and function. So that is something above and beyond that you can't get if you buy directly through this company in China. Of course, if you buy them directly from China, there are no returns, there are no refunds. You're buying the product, you get what you get. If you have any issues, a lot of times they'll send you spare parts, which is gonna take like two weeks from China to get over here. We have the spare parts right here in America, so we literally can fix your lights instantly. We can either ship you the part, or you can ship us the light, we'll refund you your shipping, we'll fix the light and send it back to you quicker than getting the part all the way from China. So that is the additional benefit of buying through us. And if you want more info on that, there's gonna be links in the description down below, as well as the comments. And you can ask any questions on Instagram or in the comments down below in regards to that. So let's get the prices. The pricing on these lights is honestly incredible if you consider the cost of a name brand mover. And that's the benefit of buying from China. But if you buy through us, you get the America warranty, the America support, customer support and all that with a Chinese light. So that's why I started the whole being the dealer for both lighting to add that purchase protection to make sure none of you guys have, none of you guys really lose out, you don't lose your money and you get the products that you want at the right price. So what you're looking at for a two unit road case, and this is kind of my recommendation, if you're gonna buy these lights, I recommend getting them in a two unit road case. The road cases are really small as we looked at, so they can fit in your car and they're awesome to transport, but if you need to buy single units, you can do that as well. But I highly recommend two unit row cases, and that's the pricing I'm gonna reference. For two of the MH150 spots, whether you want them in white or in black, they're gonna run you around $1,700. Now, we do do US warehouse discounts, and that is where we buy a bulk load of these lights and we ship them from China via sea. It takes like three months for them to get here, but we stock our warehouse with those and the, dis the savings that we have in shipping, we pass that along to you. So be on the lookout for any of our warehouse sales. We are running some of them right now, and we tend to have the movers in inventory as well. So they can be cheaper. 1,700 for two of the spot movers, or the wash movers as of right now, it is 1400 for two of these. And what I'm quoting right there is for them to be air freighted from China to directly to your door, from the factory to your door, and that takes about 14 business days between processing, quality control, packaging in China at the factory, and shipping them over to you via air freight. 
it takes about 14 business days. If we have the stock in the US warehouse, which we typically do, um, we restock about every month and normally the stock doesn't last long. So if you wanna get on our email list to know when all this pricing and everything is gonna happen, be sure to click on the link down below. Make sure you're on our email listing so that way you get all the updates of when we have warehouse sales, when we have warehouse inventory and all that good stuff. Keep in mind also, if you're watching this video right now, I'm quoting the price as of right now in the late 2022 pricing with anything and everything will go up over time. So if you're watching this video two years down the line, these lights may cost more than the prices I just quoted you. So keep that in mind. But anyways, guys, that is the kind of the wrap up on these two movers right here and all the info on how to purchase these lights, if you want, is in the description down below using the link, or you can comment down below and I will paste the link for you to go to as well to check out these movers. And also make sure you use that link to get on our email listing so that way you are updating when we're having sales on these lights as well if you're trying to save some money. And lastly, I just wanted to end the video guys by saying the lights you see me use, the products you see me use in my videos are the same products that I promote. I literally do not promote any product that I do not use myself or my company doesn't use, let alone any product that we haven't already tested and put through the paces. These lights right here, I waited to film a video until I got a chance to get these out at events. I was blown away and impressed, and if I have any negative things come up with these, I will be sure to update you guys. In general, all the product videos that I make on my channel are for products that I actually use, endorse, and love. I never make a video on any product that I haven't tested already and utilized. And any of you OGs of the channel know that I've been very strict and very true to my word that anything I promote on this channel is something that I authentically like, enjoy, and if I find anything negative with it, I will 100% tell you. I've gotten into some negative waters with companies because of that, but I prefer to be authentic and tell the truth to the clients and the customers out there that are gonna spend thousands of dollars on these products. I mean, you gotta be honest. So, anyways guys, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning. I will see you guys in the next few gig logs. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas or you had an amazing Christmas. Happy New Year's. Let's kill it in 2023. And if you're interested in picking up some movers, I highly recommend checking out these using the link down below. Anyways guys, keep them records spinning and peace out.